Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here, guys. Thank you for subscribing and liking and commenting. It's appreciated. It truly is, guys. Now, let's find out what's going on. Confessions from your person to you. What do they want to confess? I don't know what you see in me. That came out in the pre-shuffle as well. They can't face you. That's what I'm trying to say. But they're longing for you desperately. I know that I'm damaged. I don't want you to give up, but I think I should so you can be happy. They can't forgive themselves, okay? I was raised to not show my emotions, but I know this is true love. Nothing compares to you. I know what I've lost. The day my life changed forever was the first day I met you. You were the right person at the wrong time. I'm healing my heart. My heart was hurt too much in the past. I'm keeping you a secret, and I feel guilty because they don't want to change their life. They're in a codependent situation, and they are watching you from afar. I'm not telling anybody how much I'm really suffering, and I wish we could just start over. Confessions, please, what's really going on? Well, they can't forgive themselves for being a wolf in sheep's clothing. They want you back. Somebody blocked you off of Facebook, or they did, or someone else did. So they could be giving money to an impersonator. Someone who's copying you. An obsessive lover. A dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessive karmic. Someone they met while they were traveling. or that That's why they ghosted you. Because people were talking shit about you. Karmic, karmic friends. All talking about you and you're unbothered. This person is creeping on you. They were partying, man. You're loved, you're respected, and they're crying and upset over you. Because you're unbothered, you're acting cold. They were dealing with the thief who was fake flexing. Your light irritates these karmic and their friends. They're stalking you. Starting drama. Hmm. Hmm. Bad karma. They got legal problems. This person feels stupid like they have a low IQ or something like that. Hmm. They're broke. Mm-hmm. Karmic is also spying on you guys. Nobody compares to this Empress. Could be a Libra who is blocking you. Who blocked you. They're getting bad karma. 
Well, you are receiving good karma. Mm -hmm. Secrets, lies, deception. Something about a distant lover who's a fake. Hmm. They're heavily burdened by this marriage or whatever they're in. Ooh. You're getting a lot of fortune here and good luck. And this person is angry at a queen of swords. It could be a wife or a Libra. They resent being there. Gossip and backstabbing karmic and their friends. Backstabbing you, talking shit about you. Or talking shit about this person. Hmm. Fear, worry, entrapment. See? Giving uh, some kind of money to someone else for... Hmm. Huh. Something to do with a child. Hearing news about a child and a family situation. They're wasting their time. Hmm. Feeling foolish. They can't face you. But they are spying on you. One way or another, a lot of you say, well, I'm not on social media. How can they spy on me? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Drinking, just always drinking. This other lover is what ended your relationship. This person held you in high honor and high respect. Put you on a pedestal and it triggers this other lover. They actually know the other lover is the one they're broke. <sighs> they're missing you. But I don't think that they can face you because they know that they manipulated you by hiding this other lover. Hmm, what's going on? Heavy burdens within the home. They're angry, they're resentful, they're frustrated at whoever this could be a Libra. Gemini, Aquarius, I don't know. They're pissed off and resentful that they chose this path. Gossip and rumor. Putting them in a trap. Putting them in fear. Fear of gossip and rumor. Pain. Hmm. Wow. So, mm. Hmm. The 
truth and clarity. Something to do with a child, messages about a family, wasting your time, it's going to lead to heartbreak, push them away, close off your heart to them, block them, block them, block them. They're no good for you. Separate. You're better than they are. Something to do with the emperor's job and the emperor's friends at work. They regret some kind of news that made them walk away. They're depressed that they got stuck or blocked, made a decision to block you, listening to friends and co-workers. Oh my God, are you kidding me? They're afraid to face you. Someone is really, really jealous of you. They were making up lies about you. This is somebody doing things online, fake accounts. Might have impersonated you, might have made up some messages pretending to be you. There is some kind of fake uh, profile, fake profiles. Someone was impersonating you, pretending to be you, saying some kind of message. It wasn't even your freaking thing, man. They thought it was you, but it was this Queen of Pentacles who was doing it, this wife, who they were married to made up a fake account might have photoshopped your picture or something saying things about this person impersonating that they were you you low bag of crap yeah making threats of physical violence or something. I'm going to beat the crap out of you. Oh, you ignorant mofos. I'm so sick of these energies, guys. So someone created a fake Facebook account, apparently, or some kind of social media account under your name with your picture. Sent it to this emperor of all the crap that you supposedly were doing behind their back, making accusations about I'm gonna beat you up, I'm gonna hurt you, I'm gonna physically attack you, I'm gonna do this to you. This karmic is a fake ass piece of garbage. Look, look, sent it to them. Look, that's what they said about you. Look, that's what they're doing behind your back. Look, they threatened to beat me up. They threatened to hurt me. They threatened to kill me. This person's like, oh my God. Would an empress do that? Are you for real? Block him, block him, block him. Because they're in a codependent situation.
The truth is, they were secretly competing. So the karmic had to enlist a bunch of karmic friends. Yeah, they said this. I saw it. It was on Facebook. I saw it. I saw it. No, that's what... The, I photo screened it. This is what they said about you. This is what they're doing behind your back. I hate... You know, guys, please forgive me, but I really sometimes am learning to hate people. I was talking to my son the other day, guys, and they asked me that question. He asked me that question. Mom, are you ever going to date again? And I'm like, no, I really don't think I will. No. No, no. Not after this. I really don't want to. Not because I'm afraid to open up or not because I'm afraid to love again. It's just I really don't like people. I really don't. I don't like underhandedness. I don't like lies. I don't like deception. And it's like I told my son, I said, I don't want to go on no dating app. Like, you'd have to go for, like, meet a thousand people to, like, find one decent person out there. They are out there. And maybe you might find ten or even a hundred out of a thousand. But I just don't want to do it. I don't want to go through it. I don't want to deal with with people. I really don't like people very much, which is why I choose to stay alone. Like I like you guys, and I like helping people and everything. And I know there's some really decent women out there and some really decent men out there. Heck, I have five brothers who are all decent to their wives. <laughs> I know lots of guys who are totally loyal to their spouses, and I know lots of women who are totally loyal to their spouses. But guys, from what I have seen, they would have to hit me with a freaking semi for me to even notice anybody. It's not dismal. It like I'm actually pretty happy alone. Like I feel really content in my life. And if I was ever to date anybody again, God, like I said, they'd have to fall from the sky. Because I would not go on any online anything at any time for anyone anywhere. It's just the way I am. Doesn't mean that these date sites are bad or anything, but that's just a personal preference of mine. I don't want to meet anybody online. I don't even like half the people I meet in person, let alone online. It's not that I'm being picky. It's not that I'm being choosy. I mean, my heart is open, but... When I look at the crap that's going on out there, I'm just like, like I said, they'd have to drop from the sky. Frankie, this is your partner sent from God himself. Like I said, when I worked out of town, guys, I worked with 6,000 men. 6,000 in close proximity and closed quarters. And I hear the things that go on and I see the things that go on and I see the bullshit and I'm just like not interested. Not interested. I mean, you can 
can't blame men and you can't blame women because women are cheating with men and men are cheating with women. I mean, they're both doing it. They're not cheating alone. That's what people don't understand. They always want to blame the guy or they always want to blame the girl. The truth of the matter is there would be no sexual activity if they weren't doing it with someone. They're not doing it alone, guys. You know what I'm saying? It takes two to tango. It takes a feminine and a masculine, even same-sex gender don't matter. Somebody is a feminine and somebody is a masculine. Like, for real. Just stop it. I don't want to deal with people. I don't even want to talk to people anymore. You know, I'm getting to the point that my inner circle is so small now, guys, and that's the way I like to keep it. You know, if, like I said, my heart is open, and it is, truthfully it is, it's just that I know my, my guides don't want me going on no sites, okay? Because I don't want to go through the crap. I don't want to meet anybody. I'm busy. I got stuff to do and I got goals to do. And I'm busy. I don't want to make the time for it. I'm just saying. Or I would. I would be out meeting people. But I don't want to make the time for it. So that's on me, right? If I die a lonely old lady, that'll be on me. <laughs> but right now, I don't want to meet anybody. I just don't. Nope. For many of you, you do. Just... When you send out positive energy and high vibration that, you know, you attract... You attract the light and you also attract the dark. And it's doing the weaning process. That's all it is. Weeding out those of low vibrational energy. That's what it is. And it's work. It's a job. And I don't want to do it. But I'm not like you guys. I do this. This occupies... Almost all of my life, all of my days, all of my nights. Like, a lot of people think you just go on here and read. Not true. It is really energy draining. It takes, absorbs a lot of your energy to be doing what I'm doing. Every day, seven days a week. And right now, that's what I want to do. So, sorry. You know, I've turned down dates. I almost went on one one time because I really liked the person that was asking me out. I did like them, and they're a decent person. And I know that for a fact because I got to witness them for three years before I even started talking to them, really. And I like their character, and I like their person, and it probably could have been something that would have led to more. But had I done that, I wouldn't be doing this. And I know me. So I'm kind of committed to doing me for now. But guys, know that even when you raise your vibrations and you do all that, you attract the light, but you also attract the dark. And if you have the patience to wean through the negative you'll do just fine guys don't worry about it take care everyone and i love you all and bless you all